Hey folks, Mark Johnson, tech-snobs.com. Doing a full review of the uh, Kindle Fire HD. Um, overall, like, let's just get into it. I got it online and everything. Very nice product. Um, if you're a Kindle fan, you know, obviously it, you'll definitely like it and stand out. Um, there's a lot of things to like about it. And we're just going to kind of go through it. First of all, you know, build quality is nice. 7 inch tablet. Obviously, you know, it's going to compare to the uh, the Nexus 7. I mean, that's probably the, the you know, the biggest, um, I'd say, competitor to it. Uh, when you look at the two side by side, they're similar in a lot of ways as far as, uh, you know, build quality goes in, in dimensions. But the Nexus 7 is a little bit, doesn't have as much bezel on the side, uh, I would say. So it does tend to be a little bit, uh, it's a little thicker, but, in, you know, in the Kindle Fire is definitely thinner, but they're they're close to the same, and, and both products are for just two different types of people uh, overall. Now, this is where the Kindle Fire honestly shines. I mean, if you like, if you're into any Amazon, you know, product, their whole ecosystem. I mean, I click on shop. You go in the shop, and you can you can buy just like you're on the site. Everything real smooth, fast, quick. Uh, hit the back button there. We go to games. Um, it shows you what's on the device, and if I click on the cloud, it shows you stuff I've downloaded, uh, you know, from the cloud as well. So it's it's just one of those things where this product is just is definitely geared toward that Amazon fan, you know, their whole cloud ecosystem, their apps, their books. Um, you know, you can get Skype. Like I click on Skype right here. See, I don't have that on here, and then it just queues up, and then you'll see it just starts downloading it just just like that. So it's just really cool. Uh, very quick device. I mean, I definitely like the speed of it. Um, you know, same thing with books. You, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can check out, um, you know, a book every 30 days. And, you know, everything's really smooth and fast. I mean, I definitely like, uh, I'm sorry, let me pull up a movie. I was looking a little bit of Super 8. And one thing that really stands out about is the sound quality. This thing, it's got some, probably the best sound on any tablet I've ever used. So I'm going to turn this up. So that's just a little sample. This is a little sample of the sound. I mean, it's got incredible, this Dolby digital sound. And it's very, very, very good sound on it. Um, like I said, I did show you the book. Same thing goes with music. So you get the kind of idea, like anything that's, you know, if you're into Amazon, you do have access to it just right at your fingertips. Everything's quick and swift. You pull down, it does have the, the drop down tray like a lot of Android tablets do. And uh, you click, you know, you got sync, wireless. Everything's just real user friendly, easy to use. This is, like I said, this is honestly, this is probably the perfect tablet for most first time tablet owners or. If you're in the Kindle and you buy their books and so forth, I mean it is $199, uh, great price. You get good performance, you know, for what you're paying for. But obviously, you're not going to have the custom, you know, custom ability of of using a Nexus 7 or some, you know, some other type of Android tablet. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. Uh, looking at photos, same thing. It's just everything's real easy. Everything, every time you click on something, it's going to say cloud and then device you know and let's go to the web real quick see how that pulls up now they they've definitely really hyped on hyped up about their um you know the wireless antennas in here let's go to techsnobs.com see how that pulls up and overall the web uh, performance i really didn't use it for a whole lot of web performance but it it definitely does uh you know, it, it does the job well. Like I said, I mean, I, I, I can't necessarily say it's anything really, you know, bad with it. Um, you know, and the, the transitions, you know, from, you know, screen transitions are pretty good when you go from vertical to landscape and so forth. So overall, everything is a really nice tablet overall. Like I said, I mean, I, I do, one thing you do get is when you, every time you go to a lock screen um, and then you power it back up. You're always going to get some sort of ad of some sort, and you can pay money to get rid of that. But I mean, that's still one of those things where, you know, that's how they make their money. So I mean, I, I understand why it's not—it's not actually too much of a nuance, excuse me, nuisance. But you know, it is what it is. And other than that, um, 
it's a very nice tablet. Like I said, if you like Kindle, if you like Amazon, I mean, you probably already bought this or you're going to buy it. You can't go wrong with it. Honestly, I'd recommend this to most people, most of the general public, over uh, a regular standard Android tablet like the Nexus 7 and so forth. Just because this is so easy and it's easy to shop and it's easy to get the things just like that. Click on offers and it even shows me offers which were the ads I was looking at earlier when I hit it in the lock screen. So just keep that in mind. And uh, you definitely have a winner with the the Kindle Fire HD. So there's going to be another one coming out in um, November, an 8.9 inch. So be back for more coverage on that. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check the site out at tech-snobs.com. Take care.